Hi friends, in today's video, I'll be talking about combination. At first, I actually need to define or just try to find a brief definition for combination. Uh, combination is actually very simple and what actually happens is that it's also known as uh, selection. Suppose we have three numbers. Let's say we have uh, just three numbers and our numbers, the numbers are actually A, B and C, right? You know, in this case, these are three letters rather so what happens is that if they ask me to find the numbers of which through which i can rearrange these three numbers that's actually permutation right right that's permutation but the numbers of which through which i can rearrange i can rearrange all these three numbers in just a group let me just say the numbers of which through which i can rearrange this let's say i can rearrange these numbers as let me just say this a b c and let me just say a i'm having b I'm having C, B, A, C, right? And also C, this actually C, then I'm having B, A, right? So if I want to go with this, I'll just say, okay, I can rearrange this alphabet in how many ways? In six numbers of ways. So if, you can, if I can arrange them in what? In six numbers of what? Of ways. That means the all six numbers of ways of, of rearranging this A, B, and C is taken to be what? To be a single selection a single selection of what of this a b and c i can rearrange them in six numbers of ways so the all numbers of ways i will take it as what as a single selection which means i'm taking them as a what a combination that's just combination so whenever you are giving uh different items and you are asked to find the numbers of ways to which you can arrange them then you get 120 numbers of ways of arranging them. So that 120 numbers of ways is taking to be what? One selection of that items. Combination. It's very simple. So general formula of n combination r equals to n factorial divided by what? R factorial into brackets n minus r factorial. Exactly. So now let's go and use this formula to evaluate, to find the value of all this question that we are given. Now, the first one is that we are given here we have our, ten, our n to be equal to what? 10 and our r to be equal to what? 5. So using this formula, I'm going to have to what? That's actually 10 factorial divided by, that's r, that's 5 factorial into brackets, n, 10 minus 5 factorial, which is actually 10 factorial divided by what? That's 5 factorial, 5 factorial. Exactly. So now let me just go. If you simplify this, you are going to have it to be what? To be 2, 5, 2. Now let's move to the next one. The next one is actually its combination theory, right? So its combination theory in this case, our n is 8 and our r is what is theory. n is 8 and r is theory. Then you're going to have 8 factorial divided by what? r that's theory factorial into brackets 8 minus theory factorial, right? So here simply you have 8 factorial divided by what? 3 factorial then 5 factorial. So here you can simply say this 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial divided by what? 3 factorial, 6 factorial, uh, 5 factorial rather. This 5 factorial. So this we cancel this. So here I'm going to have 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 then divided by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by what? 1. Exactly. So here I'm going to have to what? 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 divided by what? 3 multiplied by 2 is actually 6 multiplied by 1 that's actually 6. This cancel this again. Then 8 multiplied by 7 that should give us what? Think that's 56. So that's for the second one. Now let's move to the third one. The third one six we should have seven combination five plus seven combination four, which is very simple. Now what we are going to do is that seven combination five is actually that's seven factorial divided by what? That's five factorial into bracket seven minus five factorial plus seven factorial divided by what? Four factorial into bracket seven minus four. Right? factorial so here we simply have 7 factorial divided by what 5 factorial right then 7 minus 2 is actually what 2 factorial plus 7 factorial divided by what 4 factorial 7 minus 2 is actually 3 factorial so here we can simply have 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 factorial divided by what 5 factorial 2 factorial plus 7 fact multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 factorial divided by what 4 factorial 3 factorial so this cancel this exactly so this cancel this then 
2 factorial is actually represented as 2 times 1, so it is 6 2. So 2 goes in 6, which is 3. Then 3 times 7 is actually what? That's 20. 21. Plus, here we are going to have 3D multiplied by 2, right? Which is actually 6. Multiplied by 1 is still what? 6. So, this 3 factorial will simply cancel what? 6, 6. So, here we are going to have 7 multiplied by 5. 7 multiplied by 5 is giving, will give us what? 35. So, the overall answer is actually 21 plus 35, which is simply, that's 56. If I'm not wrong, <laughs> all the best. That's 56, exactly. So, now, let's move to the last one, which is... 10 combination 7 minus 10 combination 3. 10 combination 7. 10 combination 7 minus 10 combination theory. So let's simply solve this question. So you can go ahead and pause this video and solve the question. Alright? So let's go. So here are going to have to be what? To be 10 factorial divided by what? 7 factorial into bracket 10 minus 7 factorial using the formula. Right? Then minus again we have 10 factorial divided by what this is 3 factorial into bracket 10 minus 3 factorial so now 10 factorial right divided by this is 7 factorial and this will give us 10 minus 7 that's actually 3 factorial then the minus 10 factorial divided by what what's this 3 factorial and this is what 7 factorial all the best <laughs> so now let's go ahead we are going to have to what 10 factorial Divided by what? Let me just say 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 by 7 factorial divided by what? 7 factorial 3 factorial minus 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 factorial divided by what? 7 factorial 3 factorial. So this will cancel this, right? Then after that, this will also cancel. Oh, sorry, 7 factorial will cancel 7 factorial. But since we know that 3 factorial is equivalent to 6, right? So here we are going, simply going to have 10 multiplied by 9, right? 10 multiplied by 9, multiplied by 8, then divided by 3. That should give us something. I'm just going to calculate. So, then in this case, we're going to have to what? To be, if we have that, actually 10 multiplied by what? By 9, by 9, multiplied by 8, divided by what? 3 factorial. Then minus 10 multiplied by what? 9, multiplied by 8, divided by what? 3 factorial, which is also the same as, as writing 6. So, everything here is actually the same. So, that the answer is simply what? Zero. The answer is zero. You will write from the start here. The answer is actually what? That's zero. Exactly. So that's all about this video. That's all it about this video. So if you enjoy it, please kindly click on the social button and don't forget to share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching.